Warehouses can be dangerous places to work. It's important to understand warehouse hazards because they can lead to serious injury or even death. The key thing to remember, however, is that most injuries and fatalities can be prevented. Let's identify some potential hazards that could be found in your facility. Storage and racking systems are integral to keeping your facility organized, but they could collapse if they're improperly installed or damaged. Hazards associated with racking include partial or total failure, which is basically a collapse of the racking system, displaced material or damage due to lift trucks colliding with the racking, materials falling from racks when improperly stored, poor layout that can be a risk to staff. Loading docks can be dangerous. We just have to look at stats from the Workplace Safety and Insurance Board to see that shipping and receiving areas can expose workers to multiple high-risk hazards. Over the last 10 years, workers have suffered serious injuries or fatality from being pinned between a lift truck and loading dock, pinned between a loading dock and a trailer, struck by or run over by a truck, struck by falling items that weren't secured, and worst of all, Workers have been seriously hurt or even killed due to premature removal of trailers. Workers in shipping and receiving areas can also be exposed to hazards involving external trucking firms that deliver and carry loads. See the loading dock video in this series to learn more about these hazards and how you can prevent injuries. Let's not forget slips, trips and falls. These injuries continue to be an issue in most Ontario workplaces. According to WSIB, almost 20% of all lost time injury claims are caused by slips, trips and falls. In a warehouse, these injuries can be caused by things like slippery surfaces, possibly because of oil or grease, seasonal trip hazards like snow and ice, improper ladder use, changes in walkway levels and slopes, unsecured mats, debris and items stored in pedestrian walkways, and falls from working at heights. Material handling is also a real problem for warehouse workers. Injuries caused by lifting or moving items account for almost 40% of WSIB claims. They're caused by things like overexertion from working with awkward postures or lifting techniques. But that's not all. Warehouses have many additional unique and sometimes ever-changing business activities that could increase risk of injury. Things like hazards from power tools used during crating and packaging, unique equipment hazards from shrink wrap machines, compactors, conveyors, and carousel storage devices, contractors doing a variety of tasks on site, or a sudden chemical exposure caused by broken containers, substandard equipment, or repairs being done within the facility. Appropriate training is the key to ensuring your workers understand hazards they face and what they're expected to do to remain safe. Supervisors should be familiar with the unique health and safety concerns faced by warehouse workers. And most importantly, employees should always be encouraged to ask questions and report all safety concerns. Tune in to the full warehouse video series where we examine some of these hazards and provide tips for controlling them in your own facility. I'm Jennifer McFarlane. This has been your health and safety tip from Workplace Safety and Prevention Services. For more information, visit WSPS.ca.